Hi, this is Ed. Today we're going to make some zucchini with onions and tomatoes roasted in the oven. Very straightforward. We're just going to prepare by chopping up our zucchini. I just put it in like bite-sized pieces. The beauty of roasting is that because these things all have a lot of water in them, they will uh, kind of dr not dry out, but uh, intensify the flavors. Uh, when they're roasted. So we just put everything in the pot here. I'm going to chop up some more stuff separately without you. The onion I want to make kind of small if possible. And we're going to mix it all together with some spices. I used dry garlic powder in this because uh, if you just have chunks of, of fresh garlic it doesn't get on all the pieces. Uh, usual salt, pepper, or extra virgin olive oil. I like to put some uh, hot pepper flakes, and you could also put s some, you know, these green herbs like dried thyme or, or even rosemary or basil or even a, maybe even oregano, and just chuck them in. And I'll be back in a minute after we finish chopping. All right, so now that everything's chopped up, we're ready to add our spices. So extra virgin olive oil, mess of pepper. Big, big pinch of kosher salt. There's a lot of veggies in here. And like I said, I like to put in the hot pepper flakes. Jack it up as much as you want. And some garlic powder. You notice I never give you guys measurements on this. You just gotta eyeball it. Don't put too much of things like garlic powder. And you can always adjust it later. Put less now and more later. And then just by hand. It's always fun getting your hands dirty. You just mix that up. You could even taste it now. Oh, look at that. Mmm, that's good. All right, be even better after we cook it. All right, so to cook it, we're just going to dump it in our handy dandy baking sheet covered with aluminum foil so we have less cleanup. Spread it around and right into the oven at 400 degrees. Probably going to take about 20 to 30 minutes to cook this. All right, to serve up our roasted zucchini, tomato and onions, uh, very simple. We're gonna just, I took it out of the oven now. It's been there for hmm, about 40 minutes. It took a little longer than I thought because I had more quantity. So now the key thing is taste this. Mmm, it's good. Went a little heavy on the uh, red pepper flakes, but it needs some regular pepper, just a touch, just a touch. And I use my famous tongs to stir it around and then onto the plate. Now I'm, I'm just serving it up with some pork sausage and some roasted potatoes which are roasted potatoes is one of our other recipes. Voila! There you go. Bon appetit! And if you really want to just have a beautiful finish right at the end because it's roasted, it's a little bit like dried out on the top. I just put a tiny drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Makes it glisten and it adds that fresh olive taste right to the, the finished dish.